Guys, I this is April 2014, and I'm running three morphing jars. You know, if I had if I had a tournament, if I had a YCS, this deck would be illegal. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, Creo 48 here. Welcome to more um, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards. In the last episode, we fought Weevil at the park. And uh, I haven't played this game in the longest time, so I actually don't remember what to do. Here, what I think this is that one part in the game where like I never remember what to do, but then like you go to the card shop or something. Oh yeah, there's um Merrick but well, actually or I mean um Namu. That's his name, if you were wondering. So anyway, um, but enough of the story for now. I'm actually going to show this like one side thing. So if you actually come over here, you can talk to Roland. And you can duel him. So, I'm going to anti the snake here. So, he has red medicine. So, um, anyway, here's Roland. But you knew that already. So, um... Something to note about Roland is that he has um, a divine monster in his deck. Yep, he has the five god dragon, or as most of you may know it, five headed dragon. That's because his Japanese name, because five go five headed dragon's Japanese name is five god dragon, or FGD. I don't know why, but but if you were wondering, that's because they use the Japanese names. For these uh, cards, I don't know why, but they just do. So there's nothing to do there. Oh, uh, top deck Trihorn Dragon. Man, I'm just pl I'm just freaking running over this guy's electric monsters with earth monsters. Talk about lucky. Oh, electric lizard. So from what I'm seeing, uh, this guy has. A lot of um, thunder monsters. Gonna tribute him, summon him. My brachio radius. So I don't know what to talk about. I was on Dueling Network a little while ago. I was playing Bujins. So yeah. I gotta say, Bujins are a good deck. I think, um, with their new support, they could probably rise up and, um, you know, they're getting, like, Bujin Harume and Primal Origin. So, yeah. The monster heavy builds. I don't know how those are gonna do. Alright, he's pissed off now because he told me to get lost. But if we go in here, if we talk to Mokuba, huh, what do you want? Crap, what good is our security? What goods are security stuff? Oh, whatever, duelist. Are you? See, this is the duel simulator. My brother made it. I'm testing it. Try dueling against it. It was made for his brother. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not doing Mokuba's voice. Because it would just be so embarrassing and weird. But, yeah, you can duel this thing. I am Duel Robot. Do you wish to duel? Now, that voice I can do because, you know, I'm not embarrassed to do that. I kind of feel like giving it the ship's voice from Pikmin 2, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so date off on complete and dual start. So, um, in the sit and no, not save cards, that's what we're playing. So he has a different Muse song, I forgot. Now, um, the dual machine thing is easy in this game. I believe he has Roland's deck, but I could be wrong about that. Oh damn it, Petit Dragon. Fucking me over here, man. I'm breaking my balls. Um, in in the in the next game, you go receive destruction. The this um this dual thing bitch no. Uh this is um dual simulate this dual machine blah. He's in the next game, and you can actually set the difficulty. 
But let me just warn you, if you're playing that game, and you're watching this let's play anyway, let me just tell you, on the hard mode, I think it's like uh, advanced or something, he is ridiculous, alright? I'm not gonna lie. He's got fucking... He consistently summons blue eyes, basically. And that, that game is very... is a hell of a lot different from this game. So yeah, you can bet that he will be a pain in the ass. I'm gonna tribute Dark King of the Abyss. Sorry, Dark King of the Abyss, I like you, but... Okay, Jinzo... Jinzo Beatdown. I'm just making a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! references this episode. We got Rabid Horseman. I'm not gonna run him. So our victory has been confirmed. So I just wanted to show that little thing. Anyway. I'm gonna have to take deep breaths here because I'm gonna feel weird doing um Namu's voice. And yes, I am going to do that voice. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna do my best. Here we go. I'm sorry. I must refuse your child. Oh, wait. Whoops. Um, sorry. Hello, Joey Wheeler told me of this shop. I, too, am a duelist. The regular customers here, they are all very strong. If I buy some cards, perhaps I will become strong also. By the way, my name is, uh, Malik. Okay, no. <laughs> I don't feel that weird doing that voice. Okay, so after, anyway, after you talk to Malik, or Namu as he's called, we're just gonna call him Malik, cause, you know. So you get, you unlock the bridge and the building. So we're gonna go here, and as you can see there are people here. We're gonna duel Jaden here. Well, alright, let's have a duel then. Yeah, he's basically Jaden. I mean, let's not lie there. Oh yeah, I forgot Roland gave me the Wicked Worm Beast. Piece of crap. I mean, he's a piece of crap in the actual game. He he returns to your hand at the end phase, which isn't that good. I mean, the turn he's normal, I flip face up. Or flip summoned, actually. I think it might be flip face up, I don't know. We're gonna summon our Tragical. Now, um... What's actually coming up is... A place. A building, which we're in front of, obviously. But, like, here's the thing. There are a lot of duels in here, and they mostly... And all the people there have the same deck, and I want to get that experience, even though I've maxed out on experience. I think I just want to show those duels, though. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to speed up those duels. With, um, the technology of the space bar, because I can do that. And I'm gonna play music for you guys. Yeah, I know, it sounds really lame. And I'm gonna talk while doing it. I know it sounds lame. And you're probably thinking I'm trying to be like Chug Conroy. And in a sense, I guess I kind of am, but. You know. Eh. Who's, gonna, who's really gonna care? Anyway, we beat Jaden. We got Cyber Falcon. We're gonna fight this girl. An ordinary groupie. Man, these characters in this game say crap that I only I wouldn't even get. I don't even know what a freaking groupie is. Oh, we got Mechanical Chaser. He's cool. Oh, don't discard him by accident. I haven't played um. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh shit, I got Thousand Eyes Strict. I got my boy. Hashtag unban Thousand Eyes Strict. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it right now. Holy crap. Dharma Cannon though. Hashtag unban Thousand Eyes Strict, guys. Spread it across Twitter. Spread it. No, wait. Do you do um, hashtags on Facebook? I don't even know because I don't have a Facebook account. Because, you know, I don't trust. I don't trust the internet in that manner. But yeah, spread hashtag thousand, spread hashtag unbanned thousand strict all over um, Twitter if you can. Please do that, cause he's an he's a balanced card, all right. He doesn't deserve to be in the ban land anymore, or on the forbidden limited list.
as we call it, what, what you call it, Monster Eye. Has the ability to look at your hand. In the, in the normal game, his effect is pay a thousand life points, add a polymerization from your graveyard to your hand. It's pretty random, but. but then again, most old monster effects are pretty old. No, no, okay, we have Mai right here. I didn't read what she says, damn it. You're supposed to do that. I mean, um, I mean, uh, yeah, I didn't read what she says, um, when you don't duel, when you don't ask to duel her. Okay, so she has the mount, okay, so here's actually a new field that we haven't seen yet. This is the mountain field. And the mountain field is based off of the field, the field spell mountain, from the original Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, it gives power to all winged beasts, beast war, or not beast wars. It gives power to winged beasts, dragons, and thunder monsters, thunder type monsters. So bear that in mind. Oh shit! Look at this. Oh wait. Thirty-nine hundred attack. Yeah, the boosts for these uh, field spells are weird, man. If someone can like calculate those somehow, that would be cool. And I would appreciate you do you're doing that. But yeah. I doubt he has a face down uh, she has a face down. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to worry much about the best part about this game is you really don't have to worry about um face down screwing you over until the final boss. So that's good. Well, but, uh, she does, so. She's so screwed. I'm gonna have to do this effect and see if I destroy anything. Uh, I thought I could get a good laugh out of that. Damn it, my. Oh, raise body heat. I'm gonna give that to track it on. Now that you get to see how an equip spell card works, you basically. You when you you click on it, you target a monster, and it will power up the monster. So yeah, that's how those. Ah oh, shit! Damn it, Droll Bird. I just went over a tutorial about how to go how to power use equip spell cards or power up equip, or power up cards as, or power up spells as they're called in this game. Power up spell cards, I guess. Okay, so that was my. I guess she's kind of an optional boss. I didn't really go over her, but she basically win runs um winged beast type monsters mostly. I think a couple, and I think she runs a couple fire monsters. You know to have outs to your um, you know to have outs to um, gr um forest monsters. So we got eight thousand domino. We, we got harpy lady. Who actually has an effect in this game? She power up Harvey's. She powers up Harvey's pet dragon. That's an ignition effect, by the way. There are no continuous effects in this game. So yeah. So um, now we beat my. You gonna you're gonna want to remember that you've beaten her for later. Oh yeah, here's Joey. I'm gonna have to do his voice. Yo, creator, what are you doing here? Dueling. Oh yeah, hang in, huh? So how many cards did you get? What, you collected that many already? Uh-oh, I'm lagging then. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. I better go find some dual partners in a hurry. Hey, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Go for it. Nee. Oh, Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I think the Nah, these guys don't duel you. Yeah, he got beat by Cell Kaiba. Okay, he is gonna duel us. Okay. We're just gonna put that face down. And we don't want details much candle chaser, alright. Now we go using the speed up button. Oh, drew into Uranzo. Oh boy. Now the thing is, you can't actually target a monster that I believe you can't actually target a monster who has the E symbol. 
So yeah, with a, a, a clip spell. Watch Blizzard. Bad cards. Bad cards are bad. Uh, man, I remember when I used to run Electric Lizard in my water deck. My old water deck. You know, that one I posted a deck profile on with, like, Leviathan Daedalus. And I explained how, like, you know, in the, in the, in the comments section, if you actually read those, which you probably didn't. But, like, if you read the comments, then you would have seen, like, um... You, you can't, and that, um, he got, that, um, Neo Daedalus's, uh, um, summon conditions got fixed so that, you know, he, um, he need he absolutely needs Daedalus to summon. I mean, not like he didn't need him before, it's just they left it out somehow. I don't know how they missed that, man. I mean, seriously. And, you know, come to think of that, that was in the structure deck, so holy crap, people must have cheated with Ocean Dragon Lord and Neo Daedalus so much. Okay, no, probably not. Well, I mean, they wouldn't have known about it. Okay, so Ancient Elf. I just didn't get lucky that match. It wasn't even a match, it was singles. Jeez, man, you're not learning crap. Okay, so, uh, what the fuck. Okay, so here's the thing. This is where the, um, duels start. I think I'm going to start this in the next episode because I don't want to reach over for my iPhone right now. I'd rather do it off camera. But yeah. And there's like three four floors of duels. Let me just check that to make sure I'm right. Um, yeah, those guys duel you, I'm pretty sure. So it was like six duels. There's not that much, but I guess I could do it this episode, but I don't like, I don't want these to be that long. So uh, I think we're gonna end this off here. So uh, and next time on um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards, we're gonna be challenging the people here. Yeah, grown up, grown people play children's card games, and um, hopefully we're going to be getting our last and our next and final Loki card. See you guys then.